Welcome to the Sourcing Industry Landscape Podcast, hosted by Don Tura, CEO and President of SIG. Well, folks, I am so excited to introduce you to actually a, a, someone I've known for quite a few years, an outstanding gentleman in our industry. His name is Doug Levy, and he's the CEO of Beeline. He's also recognized as an industry innovator and a customer champion. He's led Beeline to become the largest independent provider of solutions for managing all categories of non-full-time talent. He's been at Beeline since 2002, and he has been included in the staffing industry analyst list of the 100 most influential people in staffing every year since 2012. He believes strongly in the importance of corporate culture, and through his servant-minded leadership, he has created a culture at Beeline built on trust and diversity. So, Doug, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Great to see you and great to be with you again. Yeah, I'm so excited. And folks, when we talk about Doug, this is someone that you want to have in your contacts. He's someone that is just an industry leader. And I'm just so excited to get to spend a little bit of time with you. But first, we have a word from our sponsor. All right, great. What is SIG University? We are an inclusive, internationally recognized university whose mission is to advance the procurement profession while enabling students to transform their careers through our world-class certifications. SIG University offers industry-recognized certifications programs, each offering a unique set of competencies and skills that sourcing and risk professionals need to be successful. The programs provide advanced training in subjects like strategic sourcing, supplier management, third-party risk management, intelligent automation, and more. SIG University is committed to academic excellence, which is why our students are trained alongside an international cohort, engage in discussion forums, and learn from senior practitioner faculty who leverage their deep industry experience with real-world case studies. Why SIG University? It was created originally at the request of SIG members. We knew there was a lot of training out there, but nothing designed around the ever-evolving skills and competencies that the modern sourcing and risk professional needs. The programme was created through collaborating with dozens of industry experts to create a curriculum that is bold, fresh and applicable to this day and age. If you're looking to advance your knowledge and your career, join us at SIG University. Okay, so Doug, what started all of this, first off, I've always been a big fan of yours since I, I had a chance to get to know you 10 years ago. Yeah. But there was a recent investment by Stony Point Investments in Beeline, and that was big news. It was big money and big news and closed on May 2nd. So why did Stony Point select Beeline or Stone Point, excuse me, not Stony, Stone Point select okay. Beeline? You know, we were um, actively looking for partners that would help invest for the next generation of where we want to go, the move from a VMS to a platform, which we can talk about in a bit. And Stone Point actually, while it's not as recognizable a name as some of the other big private equity firms out there, they actually have quite a bit of domain expertise in human capital management. Oh. Uh, they, they own Bullhorn, for example, who caters to the staffing world. They've got a staffing firm. They have some PEOs. Uh, they were involved with HireVue at some point. So they really have a love for this space. And we established a relationship, I don't know, about a year ago. That's kind of their, their MO to get mm -hmm. to know the management teams. And, and they feel like they know the industry, but they can get um, a little bit more intimate with the management teams to get to understand the business. Then when there's a time to uh, make an investment, they already are, are well equipped to, to, to go pretty quickly and, and to lean in. And, and they did. And it's been great. Wow. So it, one of the things that, of course, you know, hit me immediately is you have built such an amazing culture. People that work for Beeline love Beeline. They love their management. They have nothing but respect for everyone. Is that going to change at all? Or, or, or did you already have a good culture fit with Stone Point? Yeah, you know, New Mountain Capital is actually a great partner for us for the last three and a half years. And I'm very, very, um, I just have a lot of gratitude for the time we spent together. And we matured in many, many ways. I think, you know, when I consider Stone Point's culture, it's actually pretty similar to ours. I mean, I've gotten to meet their chairman, their CEO, um, and then, of course, the deal team. And they're just really fabulous people who, as I said earlier, focus in on management teams, not just the business. And I think they appreciate our culture. And it's a great question, though, because when we announced the employee base, of course, this was a question as, as well. 
I think, Don, what, what is so exciting, you know, typically you get these press releases and people are like, oh, we've never been more excited. Like this one legitimately we are super excited about because we really like where we are in the market right now. You know, we've had a fair amount of success that we're proud of, but there's more we want to do. And, um, and it's going to require some investment, both from an internal perspective, meaning, uh, you know, we're in the road of digital transformation. I want to accelerate that, but also acquisitions. And, and we only made one, a great one joined up, which handles the blue collar under New Mountain Capital. But there's three or four that I've been very enamored with. And I think we're going to have an opportunity to take a crack at some of those in the near future. Are you going to become a stone, stone point company or are you still going to be Beeline? What does it look like moving forward yeah. for Beeline then? We're just a portfolio company in one of their funds, just like a Bullhorn would be or any of the other ones. So it's still for us, business as usual, same brand, same management team, same technology, same everything. We just have a new parent um, who's mm -hmm. hopefully going to invest in the way that I believe they will. That's awesome. So uh, you talked about platform. Can I ask you about that? Because yeah, going from just a VMS, which is an incredible VMS, to a platform, tell me more. Yeah, a year ago, uh, last February, we announced the move from VMS uh, to a platform, meaning we think we have a responsibility to more than just one constituent. Clearly, for 20 years, we've been catering our services and, and, and our technology to the buy side, which is super important. However, you know, when you think about the evolution of this market, it used to be all about just cost savings, basically, and it was primarily focused on IT labor. And then over the last couple of decades, it expanded and it went international, and then you have services procurement, and, and of course, all things non-full-time found their way into the fold. However, when you think about other constituents, you have managed service providers, you have staffing suppliers, you now have digital talent portal suppliers, and you have the talent itself. And we think as a platform, it's important for us to provide value to all those players and to recognize that we can be all things to all people. So we should be great at what we do. And that's the core, the hub from the enterprise out to the talent. Um, but think about all the interesting things that are happening out there that I think, you know, we wouldn't necessarily develop, whether that be video interviewing or, or background checks or some of the things that are happening in the world of AI or assessments. I mean, there's a lot happening out there, but you have to create a platform so that you can basically handshake in via API so that we can go to our clientele and say, listen, in our opinion, this is a, a transformational talent journey. This is not just a procurement play. It's all about talent. And in that journey, we serve a very important role, but so do others as well. And so what we endeavor to do is reduce friction, both contractually, because there's a lot of flow downs when you, you know, contract with Beeline that we can just work with our, our partners and technically as well. So the, the, the experiences are seamless. So I, that's an overused word. They're much more elegant when they're integrated into the Beeline system as opposed to logging into a new system to do that, which we think should be encapsulated in, in the ecosystem. So does that make sense? That, that in essence, is, is what we mean by the, the, the platform approach. Okay, so the platform approach, then where is the major change going to come in the contingent workforce industry moving forward? Yeah, so I think traditionally people looked at VMS rather myopically and said, okay, it's just a workflow engine basically to connect me to the staffing world to fill my roles and recs. A platform takes a broader view. I mean, we obviously can appreciate the shift of power over to talent. And, and, and so we need to do things for talent. Talent needs to understand, for example, the degree of fillability that they have for this particular role or the fit with this culture or the roles and the companies and the geographies that could be germane to them. They should have an understanding of where their skills are and where the market is demanding different skills and therefore maybe provide some information and even uh, connectivity to, to platforms that are going to help them uh, upskill and train. So we're obviously familiar with direct sourcing. We've been talking about that for a while. It's only now starting to really get some traction, still early days, but a platform also has an approach that isn't just necessarily my direct sourcing platform connects you to this purveyor of talent. It's an open system that says, uh, and we always believe that the client should, should dictate, you know, if I've got some solutions that they want to use, that's great. If they want to use others, that's fine. So long as, you know, Beeline's the hub. And so from a direct sourcing perspective, I think Don, what you're going to see is right now in the industry, it's typically, okay, we've got the direct sourcing technology and we're going to go find a curator, fancy word for recruiter, right? Um, However, I think it will mimic that which we've seen in the brick and mortar world previously. And, and, and what I mean by that is, I don't necessarily think one staffing firm can, can serve all the needs with, geographically or labor class wise. And so I think the same holds true with direct sourcing. Now in the direct sourcing world, we'll probably target IT roles and certain skill sets, but it shouldn't be limited to that. So 
with all of, um, uh, the appropriate play on DEI that we're seeing, I think organizations need more help sourcing DEI candidates, not necessarily just suppliers. We've done a pretty good job on that in the industry, mm -hmm. but we've got to go find uh, candidates. And mm -hmm. so that's a specific niche and a skill set that um, a talent portal or provider would, would have. Uh, you may be familiar with uh, Allison and, and her mom project. Yes, that's yes. A, yeah, she's doing amazing work. That should connect and does, by the way, right into Beeline in a very elegant way so that our clients can go access that without having to go outside of a system. Um, Satisha Glider is doing some really neat stuff in terms of AI and assessment. Again, that shouldn't be something you have to pop out of the ecosystem. So you'll see that the changes in the contingent workforce will begin to mirror, I think, those more similar to the full-time world in terms of this being a talent play, as I said earlier, versus just a, go out and get a, a Oracle database administrator play. So are we moving away from having the human interaction with bringing talent on? Because, you know, with the AI, the applicant management systems, it seems like no human being is involved into the process until the very end. How do you keep that human element alive? I personally still think it's very important. Maybe I'm old school and I'm, I'm struggling to change a bit. Um, however, we look at it more, and I think we didn't coin this, but as augmented intelligence, and, and I think the reality is what most people are talking about is machine learning, not even AI that's becoming overused. Um, I, look, it, it's still people to me. And we, we always say at Beeline, people first, whether that's our technology, our clients, our partners, our employees. I, I have a hard time believing that the machine is just going to take over everything. I absolutely think it'll do a great job vetting and, and compartmentalizing in a way that maybe took a lot longer time frame um, or time with people up to date. But to the, to the notion that a machine is just going to make decisions, I, I'm just not there yet. And I know a lot of people think the managed services are going away. I don't see it. In fact, 70% of the deals we did last year had an MSP involved. I think their roles are changing, but I think that human um, intervention, maybe lack of a better word, or interaction with people is still very important. Yeah, I do too. And, I, and I'm glad you believe in the human being as part of the, I mean, we're talking about humans. And we're talking exactly. about right. yeah about their livelihood yeah. and then oh, it's yeah. nice to have humans you know talking to humans along the yeah. way through the selection so um a lot of chatter out there about this huge investment um any leadership changes coming about that you can share with our audience um nothing from a, as they like to say in the industry synergy or which, which is a fancy way of saying firing people you know i've been really <laughs> really blessed uh i've got an extraordinary management team uh, in fact, Ron, who's been running sales with me, he celebrates his 20th year with, with Beeline um, next yeah. month. And then I brought in some new blood three years ago as well. So I've got, a, I think, a really fine balance of uh, tenure as well as some, some outside thinking in terms of my CTO and my CFO. So um, you will see a couple of announcements in terms of some more new blood coming in, but nothing yeah. negative. Not, nobody's going anywhere, uh, I hope. <laughs> They've told me they're staying, and I sure yeah. hope yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm worried that they're going to get poached or something like that, but but no announcements about about anyone leaving. No, no. I mean, we I look, I sat around and we made sure we ran around the room and made sure I had a solid understanding of where people are in life and what they want to do, et cetera. And I feel very confident that, um, you know, we're excited about where we're going to go next. Again, sometimes these are just little press releases that come out and blah, blah, blah. But like we're really excited about our market position, what we're going to do with some of this acquisition and reinvesting into our people and our teams and our customers. So. You know, I'd be pretty surprised if anybody left us. Well, I, I can't wait to see what's next for Beeline. We've loved spending the time with you these last 10 or 12 years and Excellent. getting to know you and your reputation is just outstanding. So Appreciate hopefully that. that will continue and you'll just continue to grow and, and still be the place that puts people first. And that's what I just love about Beeline. Well, thanks. That's certainly the intent. Yeah. So folks, if you don't know this gentleman, you have to look him up. Doug Levy will send you a, a link to his LinkedIn um, after, or, or excuse me, it'll be in the footnotes if you'd like to download that. Make sure you know him. Um, as you can tell, nice, genuine. And one thing I felt, you know, the first time you invited me to your corporate offices was that everybody were decent human beings. The egos were checked at the door, the conversation flowed. And I've told everyone ever since then, like I, the management team is outstanding, absolutely outstanding. So congratulations to you, Doug. Thank you. thank you. Great to reconnect. Thanks for the time. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations on all your success. You're all oh, over the place. Thank you. Yeah, always your wonderful yeah. things. And I would just want to echo my appreciation for our relationship over the last decade. And you've done wonderful things in the industry. And it's, it's great to be a friend of six. So thank you.
Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I, we love what we do and we just really? continue to grow and hopefully bring you new customers at the same time. So awesome. folks, you got to know Doug Levy. He is the, the CEO of Beeline. Just a great gentleman. So Doug, thank you for your time today. More than my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the Sourcing Industry Landscape podcast through iTunes or your favorite podcast app. Want to nominate someone for an interview? Email us at info at sig.org.